How practical do you think it is to build a level gauge? Very. Thanks for watching the video. I need a flashlight. I was searching on YouTube and saw that there are many videos about the level gates are made with a few transistors and LEDs. But is this suitable for fuel tank? Let's make it. If you followed my Instagram, you can see this post that is related to the master's project. This device is connected to an ultrasonic sensor and measures the water level of a tank. A lot of information can be displayed on the LCD. But the monitoring and control was done by the Tinker.io website. But in this video, I want to design a monitor screen with coding. What coding? HTML and JavaScript. So join me to do it. I just created a table whose length and width are similar to a tank. I assign a border to it. and created 10 lines inside it. Now I put two inputs, the first is related to the update time and the second is related to the height of the sensor from the bottom of the tank. Oh, we also need an edge to tag to display the tank level. I write ESP8266 and web server and client libraries in Arduino IDE. I assign a desired IP. And I put Wi-Fi in access point mode and choose a name and password for the device. With this command, I define to go to root function when the IP is searched.
In the root function, I define to load the index page. I also write the handle client command in the loop function. Now I open a new tab and write the HTML codes in it like this. Finally, I define the index page in the library section. Don't forget to enter the server begin command. Now I open a browser and search for the IP of the device. Now I open a script tag, put the number inside the time box into the variable and define a timer with the delay of one second and each time I decrease the time value by one unit and put it back inside the box when the time becomes zero I change its value to a level again and prepare an HTTP request to search for the IP of the device with the set root and password argument and if the receive response is valid I store it in the variable and subtract from the set point value and then display. This is my ultrasonic sensor SRF05 In the Arduino IDE, I use this command again to define if the set pass comes Go to the set function and save the password argument in variable and if the password is correct, send a 10 microsecond pulse to the ultrasonic sensor and measure the time when the echo pin is run and convert the opt-in distance into a command and send it to client. Now I just need to fix the circuit and add some more code to the JavaScript program. Stay with me.
61% very nice if I change the distance let's see what happened very nice awesome Perfect. Okay, that's it for this video. Uh, I'm very happy with this project, and uh, please like this video and subscribe to channel. Uh, see you in the next video. Bye bye.